10 months ago I posted a video explaining why and how I started my container garden. Now back then I probably had about 500 subscribers so most of you would not know about the history behind farming on the rocks so I'm going to try and provide you with a little bit of background I'm going to repost that video giving you a little bit of background on how farming on the rocks came about now we have upwards of 11,000 subscribers and I'm going to try and do my very best to keep you abreast and so you are aware and understand why I predominantly garden in containers I know stretch of the imagination is this easy even though I'm gardening in containers it still comes with a lot of challenges such as these stink bugs it is still sometimes unbelievable that I have so many friends over on my channel and guys I appreciate you so much now for a little bit of background on how we started our garden why we started our garden and the reason why we garden in containers morning everyone and welcome to my garden farming on the rocks for those of you who are new here my name is Marie and I'm located in Kingston Jamaica all right so uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you how I started my garden what prompted me to start the garden and also to share what the property looked like when we just purchased it so you'd have an idea what difficulties we face when we just started but I knew I wanted to plant my own food, so I know at some point I would have figured out how I'm going to get food to grow here. I'm going to show you right here what it looked like when we just started construction. This year is my husband and his dad. They were putting up the butter board to start the construction of the house. So yeah, that was what it looked like. But I am, the, I am a very determined person, and if I say I'm going to do it, I will find a way to get it done and with the help of my husband and my children we did so I'm going to take you on a, a walk through just to give you an idea and I'm going to search to find clippings of pictures and maybe a video or two when I just started all right so let's go I'm going to turn you around now and we're gonna just take a walk through the garden all right so enjoy Now, I've been on YouTube for four months, four months, I believe, yes. But if you've been following me for those months, then you know this is my entrance to my main gardening area. I plant all around the house, but this is where my main garden is. So this tractor tire, my husband had brought it home initially to exercise. Um, roll the tire for weight um, purposes. And... He, he, he had stopped using it and we just had it lying around so that's where this tire came from now this bathtub our family loves callaloo so we went somewhere to purchase doors for our home and they had this bathtub selling second hand and he bought it because he wanted me to pl plant callaloo but it sat around the home for about uh three years two years maybe three years what prompted us to start planting the callaloo i went to the market and i bought callaloo for breakfast for sunday sunday mornings we like to eat callaloo and fried dumplings what happened we bought it and my son loves callaloo and he complained that it tasted like soap or some chemical of the sort and my husband said, Mommy, you have green thumb. Why don't you plant the callaloo? 
I said, fine, let us take the, 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 let's get soil and plant some callaloo. And while at it, he decided he's going to cut the tire as well. So I had two containers to plant callaloo in. I'm going to try and find a video to insert to show you what my first harvest of callaloo was from this tire right here. Me and my son had done an harvest. And we just, at the time, my son always pushed me, Mommy, do the YouTube. You're, you're gifted, you're talented. You should do it to share your your talent and experience with others but at that time i didn't have that in my mind at all i decided i'll just video it seeing that it's our first property that we bought and it's our first callaloo that we grew on that property i've always planted when i lived in the country but when we bought this property we had no idea how we would have started this over here was a wilderness and stone rocks and shrubs i don't know how to look at that tree how it grows out of the rock you're unable to see any soil at all i have no idea yes yeah, so that's basically how we started and then our dogs we usually buy a lot of dog food from a restaurant and when we bought the dog food they would give us in crates these are the crates my husband loved to throw away things so we had these crates lying around and he was about to load them into the the van we had a pickup I'm try and find a picture and insert it here yes this pickup is what we used to transport water and building material so he had a pickup and he was loading these into throw away and i said baby we started a garden why don't we use them to plant in but they have holes mommy he said all right i got garbage bags before because he will throw it away without me looking and I took these crates and I put garbage those are the what's left of the garbage bags I put the garbage bags into the crate and fill them in with soil and that's where I planted my first row of tomatoes right there and then I continued the more we got the crates the more I expanded right over to where these cucumbers are they are the crates and I found that pot, somebody tossed it out, it's broken. And of course, I took it up the other day and I filled it in with soil and I'm planting pak choy in there. So I'm looking forward to see how that will do. Yes, yeah, so that's how the crates um, started coming in. Now, we have a shop that we buy meat, chicken, beef, stuff like that from. And they sell retail oil. So I went there and I asked if they had bottles and that's where those bottles came from. Those are oil bottles that my beetroot are currently growing in. Right there. And these are my baby feeding cans that I planted these kale in. Right? So, yes, those are from recycled uh, material. I know that I need to feed my family. And I know I need to feed them well with good healthy food. So, yeah. And this right here, these are my seedlings. My pak choy seedlings. But if you look, I think that's a watermelon. Talking about watermelon. When we just came here, we planted watermelon between rocks. I'm going to find a picture and show you where we planted our first watermelon. We found little rock holes, filled them in with soil and planted watermelons and of course we got watermelons to eat and they're they were bigger than the ones that we are producing now and it, i think there's a lot of mineral and beneficial nutrients in rocks because they produced that my kale so yeah if it is why i'm doing this video you might ask is to encourage someone who might be living in the concrete jungle as they call it meaning you're in an apartment or you're in in the city where you have no soil this is rock but concrete would be a similar comparison don't you think so if it is that you have um no place to plant oh my god oh my god my little nasturtium if you've been following me, you know this thing has been struggling with the heat. 
I don't think it likes to eat, but look at this. Isn't that a little bloom coming on? I think it's a bloom. I have no idea what color it's going to be, but it's a bloom. And it is doing its job. It is taking a sour, yes, your leaf miner is starting to eat the leaves. And that's why I planted it for um trap crop. Yeah. Yeah, so as I was saying, if you have no soil to plant in, go ahead and plant in a container. This is somebody's old pot that, that they toss out. I took it up. My, me and my husband took it up, cleaned it up, and I filled it in with soil. And I bet you I'm going to get food from it. I can assure you. Mm -hmm. This is a machine. My friend, I saw my friend um, on his way to throw it away. It's the inner part of a washing machine. And I asked him for it. And I planted in it. And look at that. That's a red color loo. I'm just saving that for beauty and for seeds. Not going to eat that. Right, so, and I planted some sweet potatoes in this tire. Now, this tire gave my husband hell to cut, but he was determined to do it for me. I'm so grateful to him. He has been so helpful to me when he's able to, and he's always working. So, I really appreciate it when he takes the time out and help me out over in the garden. I'm happy for that. I have no tomato, guys. I'm not comfortable having no tomato. So yes, that's how it started. Mm. And I'm sure I'm going to reach even further. Because even when I look in the garden and I see no space, I find space if I find a container. So yes, start a garden. Don't be afraid to start. One plant. When I went, before I moved here, I had one pepper in a bucket. And I never bought scotch bonnet pepper. So yes, that's where I started. One tire here and the tub there. And grew from there. So you can take some encouragement from this. And start your own garden. My garden is basically naked right now. Look at tires. If those went to the dump and were burnt. It would have caused so much damage to our atmosphere. I'm making better use of them. It can't be used for motor vehicles anymore, but look at that. So I'm trying to clean up my garden now because I am. Now is our gardening season. From now until March, it's best time to plant where I am living. So yes, I appreciate your company this morning in the garden. It's early. Nobody's awake yet. I came out early to, to do this little walkthrough with you, so... Thank you for joining me and as always, if you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so and press that notification bell so you'll be notified once I post another video. Also like, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment, let me know what you think. An encouraging word would not hurt, okay? Alright and please remember to share with your friends because if you like my videos, chances are they will like it too.